bronze silver medalist last year, is in fine form as well. So to Ajani Daly, he's in personal best shape of Antigua and Barbuda with Amelia Bishop of Grenada going in lane number eight. What a final this is on paper. Terry finished there. Brilliant way to close out the evening. The silver medalist from last year, the gold medalist from last year, the fastest man in the field showing up to race, showing up to take on his competitors. Uh, two from Jamaica, uh, or rather one from Jamaica, two from the Cayman Islands, two from Bahamas in this final. Should be a very, very interesting one. Uh, we see Grenada represented as well. So this is going to be a very, very interesting, very keenly contested final, I think. Uh, and certainly Dunkley will be pressed to take the gold this evening with the two young men from the Cayman Islands running at or near the top of their game. I thought Jaden Reed looked fantastic in qualifying. Truth is, so did Javorn Dunkley. They, they all three, in different, they all three ran races that demonstrated how far they were ahead of the rest of the field. So I think that those three, really, Carlos Brown will try to get into the mix-up. But those three, at least in qualifying, showed that they were class above the rest of the field, just in the way that they treated the competitors. They showed, hey, you know, that, that you guys are running, but I'm, I'm running. <laughs> I'm, I'm running, running. So those three guys uh, that have already put their stamp on the competition so far. Uh, Javon Dunkley, Jamaica, Jaden Reed, Cayman Islands, and Devontae Howell of the Cayman Islands, the defending champion. They've looked very, very sharp. Last year, I had the feeling going into the final that it was going to be Devontae Howell. I felt he looked the best in qualifying this year. I think even more difficult to call, although I think Reed or Dunkley. Samuel Green of Grenada goes in lane number one. I think he needed to run 10.60 to get into this final. Beside him in lane two, Jeremiah Adderley, 10.53 in qualifying, very close to his lifetime best. He knows if he has to get a medal, he has to run a PB. Devontae Howell, 10.35, a season's best in qualifying. The defending champion at his best is 10.29, now at the University of Tennessee. This young man, 10.17 at his best, is coached by the same man who coaches Shelley and Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson here. Here is Jaden Reed, the former Jamaica College athlete out of Kingston, Jamaica, now at the LSU, Louisiana State University. Looked amazing in qualifying the Caymanian junior record holder. Carlos Brown missed the final in 2022, returned last year at home in the Bahamas to secure silver. Can he find a way to get back among the medals this time around? Ajani Daly of Antigua and Barbuda, eighth and fourth in the last two finals. His teammate, Giolina Downey, has gotten her first medal. Can he somehow get his as well? And on the outside, in lane number eight, the Whoa, second the Grenadian in the, the final, Bishop. Amelia Bishop, coming in with a 10.59 clocking. The Grenadians inside extreme, outside extreme, lanes on one your and marks. eight, with the principals in the middle. What a final we have here. Your guess is as good as mine. final of the under 20 boys 100 meters one way or another should be a cracker can Devonte howell of the cayman islands defend this title will his teammate Jaden reed finally step into his glory how about dunkley a silver medalist in the 200 last year set off they go. Don't they got up well. So too did Howell. Jaden Reed is running brilliantly. Howell steps ahead of the field. Devonte Howell is away from the rest and blows the field away. The defending champion repeats. And it wasn't even close. That looked stupendous. Howell justifiably asked the crowd, are you not entertained? And I think we are. That was a brilliant run there by that young man, a young man who is in absolute command of 
his circumstances. Got very close to the championship record. He has definitely gotten the Caymanian Junior record once the wind is legal as we await confirmation it's 10-1-5 he beats Jaden Reed who I think got bronze and beats Jaden Reed's Caymanian Junior record as well what a terrific performance Jaden Reed understandably may be a little disappointed but he celebrates with his teammate Reed gets silver 10.34, they now know it's a Caymanian 1-2. Wow. Season's best performance for Reed. No, actually went faster in qualifying. Javorn Dunkley, no doubt, disappointed, but he's been beaten by two terrific performances. 10.34 for the bronze, silver at 200 last year. Bronze at 100 this time around, but Devonte Howell absolutely blew the field away. And maybe, just maybe, if he had been pushed, Johan Blake's 10 1 1 might have been gone tonight. I think when he hit the probably about the 90 meter mark, he realized that this thing was over, started gesturing to the crowd. There he is, we out in front. You see him pulling away from his teammate. There's daylight between himself. And Reed in second, Dunkley in third. Run through that line there, and who knows? How dare you doubt me? How dare you think it could be anyone else? Devontae Howell defends the 100 under 20 title. Sensational performance. Positive 0 0.5 meters per second. Devontae Howell, Caymanian on the 20 record, 10.15. Jaden Reed, 10.34 to complete the Caymanian 1-2. And Javorn Dunkley of Jamaica, 10.34. A bit of trivia. Can you believe that Cayman won't have a 4 by 100 on the 20 boys team? Ajani Daly, the Antiguan, finishes fourth again. Gerard Marcelli.